Uh, I think uh, we have a good group of seniors that have uh, put in a lot of uh, a lot of hours into the uh, open gyms that we've had, and and then uh, they've also been playing for a long time as well. Same with our, our junior class; they've been playing since they were. Uh, have, some of them been in the starting lineup, whether it was here at HST or if at Walnut as freshmen and eighth graders. Yeah, they you had a lot returning. I mean, looked at your you know your starting lineup from just your last game last year, and eight of those guys are back. Uh, but that never really guarantees anything. So I guess coming into this, what did you expect? You know, ten and three at this point, or did you feel like there might be some growing pains? Or what were you thinking? No, we we expect to win every ball game that we we were uh, scheduled for this year. Um, Again, I feel like we've we've really done a good job at the plate this year. We've really done a good job of putting the ball in play, getting runners around, uh, using our, our team speed. And, again, experience is definitely paying off. Yeah, definitely hitting up and down the lineup for sure, just looking at the statistics. So nine guys hitting a lot for you. Uh, take us through that lineup a little bit. Tell me about uh, the guys leading the way and uh, even those that are you know coming on here a little bit. Okay. Uh, we start off with Jay Heine, who's, uh, who's doing a good job at the leadoff spot for us. Um, after that, we have Lee White, who I think is leading the team this week uh, in hitting. He's uh, done a great job at, in our two spot. He can, he can hit the ball uh, to the outfield. He can also lay down a bunt when we need to. He's done, done a good job with that. Uh, then we have Stephen Jay. Jacobson, who provides us a little bit of extra power um, in the three spot. Dylan Robinson, another senior, does a good job in our four hole. He's uh, He's been playing around the 400 level all year. Then we have freshman R.J. Harris, who's done a good job coming in for us. He plays third base and, and does a good job of putting the ball in play for us. Then after that, we have uh, White Anzalone, who's, who has definitely made some big, huge improvements from last year. After that, we have Chase Jacobson, who's new to the starting lineup this year. He, uh, he ran for us a little bit, but he's been putting the ball in play well. Has a lot of good, uh, good attributes in his, his speed. And then um, we have Zach Hagedon, who's improved immensely from last year to this year in the uh, eight spot. And then Kane Francois has been batting nine for us and is almost like another leadoff guy for us. He's got good wheels. And then we have other guys that have just kind of pitched in when we need base runners and that sort of thing when, uh, when the time calls for it. Pitching wise, it looks like you've been doing really well. It helps to have you know, you know, kind of a one-two senior punch there as well. But last night, the, the, you had a sophomore throw a, a perfect game. Yeah, Anthony did a good job last night. It's uh, his, his uh, second or third start for us, and did a good job of throwing throwing strikes. That was the that's kind of what we stress. If you can't throw strikes, it's pretty tough to win any ball games. It doesn't matter how well you hit the ball. If you can't throw strikes, you're never going to get up to bat. So I feel like our pitching staff's done a really good job this year doing that. Steven Jacobson, Lee White, two that I was talking about there up front as far as pitching. Uh, Steven, I just, you know, he comes out with 17 Ks, I think, in his first outing. So and, and you kind of knew he was going to be your ace. But uh, Lee, was this, I mean, what he's doing, is that a surprise at all what he's doing this year? Yeah, honestly, it was a surprise. We've, we've had him pitch a little bit uh, here and there. But uh, this year, we really just needed to, needed another guy to, to step in. And he did a great job, uh, especially against the against Trainer in our doubleheader last week where he was, won a 3-0 shutout. And that was his first career varsity win. And then uh, he's Go, he's he's pitched some quality innings for us as well um, against I or excuse me against Loma this week he, he came out and pitched some quality innings we didn't get the win in that game but but he pitched quality innings and uh, has done a good job Steven he's been I think he's he's been a starter for us since he was a freshman so he's he's had postseason experience as a freshman as a sophomore as a junior and hopefully uh, that'll carry over this year as well. Last week was kind of the uh, one that really made everybody around here just kind of open their eyes a little bit with the sweep of trainer and then a couple nights later you beat IKM Manning uh, take me through that week and I mean the highs of you know beating trainer then you know you have another tough one coming up and you you handle that one too yeah it was it was a it was uh, you know, I mean, we, we expected to win, but uh, to handle them with a shutout was probably a little unexpected because they're such a good hitting ball club. And then uh, in the second game, being down 7-1 to one or 7-2 to two at one point and then putting together a big, uh, a big fifth inning and then tying it up in the seventh and then taking the lead with two outs, two strikes with uh, Jay Heine's game-winning hit, it was, uh, that was pretty unbelievable. And then the, the next game playing ICAM with, we were – what we thought we were depleted in pitching and then Anthony came out and g gave us a quality start and then RJ Harris came in and finished things off and uh, then Steven Jacobson came in in the last inning and, and slammed the door in IKM that was that was a lot of fun and then uh, you know this week we had we had a, a doubleheader with Loma where we split and uh, we had chances to win the second one but you know it's just kind of how baseball is you don't always get get the ball to roll your way. Having the wins that you've had over the last week and a half or so, do you feel like this is, you know, they're playing the best they can play, or is there is there something else that they can do better? Or, or do you think, uh, where do you think some maybe some, uh, I guess you could get some growth? Uh, I I don't think we've played our best baseball yet. I mean, yeah, there's been games where we hit the ball really well, but then maybe we don't uh, follow up with our our 
quality defense or maybe our pitchers aren't throwing the number of strikes that we'd like them to every time. So, no, we, we haven't played our perfect game yet. And I, I don't know if we ever will, but we're definitely going to strive for it. We want to do a better job of getting hitting uh, runners in when they're in scoring position. That's kind of something that, uh, that we want to get better at. Looking at the WIC tournament next week, you've got the three seed. You play a six seed trainer, which is uh, unbelievable in itself. But uh, you know, one through seven, you just I think you just throw them in a in a hat right now. With you know, Underwood beat Loma last night, and Trainer beat Missouri. Everybody can beat anybody. Yeah, I think that's the the parity in our in our conference, which can, is fun, but yet it can give you a headache as well. Just knowing that uh, anybody on any night can go out and, and and beat you, or you can beat someone else. So that's kind of the, that's the great thing about baseball. You don't always have to be the best team, but if you play your best baseball that night. It gives you that that shot, and I do believe that uh, this this conference tournament is going to be the toughest one that uh, that I can I can remember being in. Just because being a three seed, you think that it should be easier, but not with not with Trainer, who is a ranked team in two A as a six seed. It's it's, it's going to be a challenge, but it's something that we're looking forward to. Uh, I'll ask you one more. I guess the pairings came out yesterday, and uh, you know I guess no surprises in terms of uh, geography. You've got the teams around here in it. I guess your thoughts. Yeah. Uh, it, it wasn't a, a shock. We, we kind of had some, some pretty good idea of who would be in, a, in the 2A bracket with us. And, and again, we get trainer in there. So, uh, so if we get the opportunity to play him a fourth time, that'd be great. Um, we do get to host the site, so that'll be fun having, having the game here. Um, who knows? I mean, there's a lot of baseball to be played yet, so it, it, it's, it's too early to tell what, what to expect. Coach, thanks a lot. Uh, congrats on a great season so far, and good luck to you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, we're talking with the three seniors for AHSTW and playing some great baseball right now. First of all, Dylan Robinson is uh, up first. Dylan, tell me about uh, the way you guys are playing right now. You know, last week, sweeping trainer, then I came in and you take them down. And then Logan Magnolia, you route them, and then you, you had an opportunity to beat them there, too. Tell me about uh, what, why would you say, what, what would you attribute the success to? Uh, our team batting averages is really high this year, and uh, that's a really key weapon to winning ba baseball games. So. That's why I think we're doing pretty good this year, and uh, our defense went pretty well on defense, and uh, that those two together just make a good baseball team. Did you expect that you would be, I mean, you won nine games last year, and you had a lot coming back, but and now you've won ten already. Did you expect to have be this successful so so early in the year? Well, I knew after uh, Tri-Center that we'd bounce back, and, and we're making a good run so far, so... Yeah, what was it about you know tri the tri center lost double header sweep early on? Just kind of like oh well you know what's what do they actually have? And then all of a sudden last week comes about what what changed? Uh, we're just playing better baseball. That's what it is. What 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 about better baseball? And I mean every, like like you said you know hitting up and down the lineup has been a big part. Everybody seems to be hitting. Mm -hmm. We're just playing together. We're making plays on defense, routine plays, and uh, and the bats timely hitting is on point. Did you ever think uh, Lee White would give you the kind of innings he has as a pitcher this year? Uh, yeah, he's one of our decent pitchers. I know Coach Holtz said that he was pretty surprised by it. You, you're not surprised? I'm surprised. <laughs> well, let's ask Lee. What about what are your thoughts? I mean, what are your thoughts on how you've been pitching so far this year? I know it wasn't something that you did a lot of last year, but now you've kind of turned into a you know a, a co ace here. Yeah, I knew I had to uh, be able to put in innings and throw strikes, and you know. My time has come, I guess, as a pitcher, and uh, <laughs> I just had to throw strikes for us, and uh, I don't know, it was just throwing strikes. Tell me about the success here against, you know, a trainer and IK Manning, probably two of the top favorites in the league coming into the year, and then same with Logan Magnolia with what you guys did to them on uh, Monday. What's, uh, are you surprised with this, or what, what would you say is uh, one of the big reasons for this? Um, from last year to this year, I, we, we lost Kyle, but I knew we were going to have a lot of experience back, and that, I think that's what helped us. Everyone's got confidence, and you know, confidence is key when, it's, when you're playing team sport. You mentioned you've already won one more game than you won all of last season, so um, where, wh what are you guys doing differently? This, is it just another year of seasoning, another year of experience, or what, what's going on? I think, that, yeah, like they said, the experience has helped us, but I mean, we're playing together, everyone's having fun, and then when you're having fun, it, it just makes everything else fun. The coaches are more relaxed, the players are more relaxed, and it, it's, it gets easier. What are your thoughts on this WIC tournament coming up? It seems like seven teams could win that thing. It, the WIC tournament is open, anyone's got a shot. I mean, the WIC is a pretty good baseball team sport, I guess you could say. I mean, the WIC is always tough, and it's going to be a good tournament, I think. I'll go on to Steven, who's certainly the ace of the 
staff here and you know you 17 strikeouts in your first outing right off the bat what's uh, <laughs> you, you come home with 17 strikeouts in your your first outing of the season how, how do you go up from there um you just come out with the same intensity and focus the next game and you try to do it again i guess well tell me about that uh that night i think it did it go nine innings it was a nine inning game so uh, i mean what was working for you um, just kind of mixing it up, throwing first pitch, second pitch curveballs, getting up in the count, and just throwing strikes, man, and putting the ball in play, and just kind of making him hit it is a key to pitching, I guess. And you know, Lee coming in and doing the pitching that he's done, and of course, you know, Anthony has been terrific as well. I think he pitched against I Cam Manning in the perfect game last night. Uh, how how much did that turn your team from you know just you're pretty good to one that could do the things that they did last week? Well, it's a lot easier when you only had to pitch one guy. One, one time a week and you don't have to stress anybody's arm out and kind of just takes the pressure off everybody else and kind of lets them go out and play. Tell me about the lineup a little bit. Uh, as you know, Coach Holst mentioned, I kind of mentioned with Dylan there, as he had said you guys are all hitting really well up and down the lineup. Are anybody surprising you in that group? Uh, no, I am knowing everybody's a good hitter. They uh, put the ball in play, force the uh, defense to make plays, and uh, we just kind of win that way, you know? Kind of a stupid question, 13 games into the year because there's a lot, lot coming here, a lot of games left, but and but it just seems like you said so many big wins here lately. Which one, or maybe there's a couple that you value the most? Uh, I think the trainer game when we came back from seven kind of shows how good of a team we are and how we don't give up and we always have a shot in the game. I'll ask you about that WIC tournament too. You know, you get a three seed and you're facing off with a six seed and it's it's trainer a team that's been rated this year. Uh, what's your mindset going into that thing and and, and uh, speak to the I guess balance of the WIC. Um, Wick's really balanced. We up and down. It's a tough conference, and uh, we kind of just kind of go out, play our baseball, and uh, hopefully things go our way. So, do you think it's going to be you on Monday? You're going to be throwing? Uh, I think so. I haven't uh, found out yet for sure, but I'm guessing so. Yeah. Yeah. We don't. I mean, I don't think it would be a spoiler for trainer. I'm pretty sure they're expecting to see you guys. Thanks a lot for talking, and uh, good luck to you. No problem. Thank you.